What's up guys, this is Ray Borg here with Off Leash Canine in Mexico. Um, I'm here with my newest boarder train, this is Oli. Oli is a, a little bit of a wiry guy, a little bit of a crazy guy, um, you know, kind of a thousand miles per hour all the time. Um, he's here because he has a tendency to not listen, like most dogs we adore program. Um, you know, most times dogs are, you know, boarded. Um, it's either that most people just don't really have the time to put into, the intense training that they go through, or they just get stuck. You know, some people, you know, most people have a solid understanding of how to get a dog to sit, things like that, but it comes a point in time where you get a dog like Oli, who's just nonstop, a thousand miles per hour. You know, he is, even though he's a mini Australian Shepherd, he does have that hurting, you know, DNA genetic, so he, he always kind of nips at the kid, the owner's kid, you know, chases him around. So we're really working on his house manners while he's here, making sure he understands that when he's in the house, he can't be chasing the kids around. He can't be trying to, you know, just do whatever he wants, jump from couch to couch. So along with, you know, his basic manners inside and outside, um, we're really working on his reactivity as well. Um, you know, like most little dogs, most little dogs see a threat in everything that's bigger than them, I guess you could say. So Oli typically tends to really get verbal um, when he sees strangers, when he sees new dogs, even if it's at a distance, he sees them and just immediately goes into prey mode, bark, 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 bark. So we're gonna really work on neutralizing him to strangers and to his environments, you know, just through environmental training, like places like Lowe's, you know, Home Depot, all those dog friendly places, just to get him used to and conditioned to realizing that everyone around him is just a piece of furniture. Um, he has no need to interact with them. He has no need to bark at them. They're not a threat. They're not coming to take him away. And, send them to the dog pound or anything like that. So um, that's what we'll be working on for the next two weeks. So uh, stay tuned and uh, keep up to date on our two week progress.